Good morning, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to start with by thanking the organizer, Al Shark Forum, and uh, uh, I'm from South Africa as well. And uh, uh, as there's translation, I will uh, shift to, to, to Arabic. So please, to whom would like to uh, use headphones for translation, you can do it now. عندما طلب مني أن أتحدث عن موضوع المنظومة الأمنية الجديدة عندما طلب مني أن أتحدث عن المنظومة الأمنية الجديدة في الخليج ودور مجلس التعاون الخليجي في بناء منظومة أمنية جديدة بداية لابد أن نتطرق إلى مفهوم الأمن في منطقة الخليج ومفهوم الأمن في منطقة الخليج يعني يعود إلى الأهمية الاقتصادية للإقليم منطقة منطقة الخليج نفسها كما تعلمون أن منطقة الخليج تحتوي على ما يقارب 60% من احتياطات النفط والغاز في العالم ويمر من المعابر المائية في منطقة الخليج وتحديد المضيق هرمز أكثر من 30% من ما يصدر من النفط إلى العالم أجمع ولذلك تأتي منها أهمية منطقة الخليج المنظومة الأمنية أو مجلس التعاون الخليجي عندما تم إنشاؤه في شهر مايو عام 1981 جاء بناء على تهديدات أمنية اعتبرتها منظومة المجلس التعاون الخليجي قادمة من من إيران وتحديدا منذ انطلاق الحرب العراقية الإيرانية في عام 80 فأتى تأسيس هذه المنظومة طبعا هذه المنظومة يعني الآن مضى على تأسيسها تقريبا 36 عاما وبالتالي لا شك أنها هي بعادة لإعادة إحياء أو إعادة بعث من جديد تكمن الإشكالية الأولى في تسمية المنطقة أو تسمية المجلس Sorry, we need two minutes for people to get headphones. Sorry, has everyone got headphones? For the people to use for the translation machine. Sorry about that. Just to give them two minutes so they can use the headphones. Can I use the two minutes to say something else? Sorry, Jamal. This is. I was just told that not everyone's got headphones, and so they can't see. Well, they're asking for what? Okay, okay, right. We'll, we'll continue in English, and then when everyone's got their headphones. English. Okay. Well, uh, as I said, actually, the uh, the main important thing in the, in the Gulf uh, region is the importance of the economy issues. Uh, uh, as you know, there's uh, more than sixty percent of uh, petrol and gas uh, uh, inside this, uh, this region and about 30 percent of uh, uh, petrol also uh, coming through uh, Hormoz uh, uh, door we can we can if we can uh, say that uh, coming uh, from this uh, uh, region so this is the, the first important thing the second thing actually when the GCC states uh, uh, decided to create this kind of uh, 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 structure GCC in 1981, uh, specifically in uh, May in 81. Uh, actually, it came from the threats coming coming from Iran after just the uh, the war started between Iraq and Iran, the long war, by the way, from uh, 1980, uh, 1980 until uh, 1982, uh, 88. Uh, so the the first issue is uh, related to. Uh, to the name of this uh, of this Gulf, is it Persian Gulf or Arab Gulf? Uh, uh, so, if we will 
adopt the um, uh, documents, uh, official documents of United Nations, so uh, we can uh, um, nominate it like, uh, like, like as a Persian Gulf. But the Arabic states, especially the uh, Arabic states in the Gulf, uh, wanted to call it Arabic Gulf. So now, after about 36 years uh, from creation of this uh, structure, I believe that this uh, uh, structure needs to, to be uh, modified, actually. Uh, I would like, firstly, to su su suggest that this structure could be uh, extended to be, for example, we can say uh, JCC plus two. And this two uh, uh, countries we can add it in the, in the beginning uh, could be Iran and Iraq because Iran and Iraq uh, uh, they are part of they are part of this uh, uh, region. So it's very important that uh, Iran and Iraq could be part of this uh, uh, structure. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, sec security structure in the region. The problem is uh, uh, there's no trust actually between. Uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran. And I specifically say Saudi Arabia and Iran because in the, in the GCC, we have three main, main uh, groups. The first group uh, contains Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain. This, this group is not ready yet to start any kind of uh, negotiation or to open any door of dialogue with Iran for the moment. The second group contains Qatar and Kuwait. And this group is uh, ready, a good like, to, to start this kind of dialogue. And even, uh, as I said yesterday in the uh, closed roundtable discussion, uh, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of the State of Qatar, actually twice uh, in the United Nations uh, in September 2014 and then in September 2015, he uh, uh, invited the GCC countries to start this kind of uh, dialogue with uh, Iran, and even he suggested that Doha, the capital of Qatar, to host this kind of dialogue. Well, the third group contains Oman, and I believe that Oman uh, uh, wanted and uh, would like to start the, the, the dialogue with, with uh, uh, Iran today before tomorrow, because every, everybody knows that Oman has a very good relationship with, with, uh, uh, with Iran, and even uh, uh, Oman uh, have a deal with Iran to, uh, to see, I mean, to ex from Iran to export the, the gas to, to Oman. So the first thing we need is to build uh, this kind of trust between GCC states and Iran. Uh, I believe also that Saudi Arabia start, started just maybe a few times ago to, to understand the more important thing to, I mean, to, to, to go to, to Iraq and uh, try to uh, bring Iraq to the uh, GCC and open uh, kind of dialogue with Iraq. And we saw that uh, Adil Jubeir, the Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs, Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, visited Iraq uh, two weeks ago, maybe, and uh, uh, I believe that they would like to, to open uh, some paths of dialogue with, uh, with Iraq. Uh, many important things also. Uh, this this area, the Gulf uh, area, uh, had a lot of uh, uh, conflicts, and and just uh, in the three decades, past three decades, uh, it was maybe about uh, three or four uh, uh, wars in this uh, region. The first one, the Iraqi-Iranian War, uh, 1980 until 1988, and then. Uh, uh, the vision of Iraq to, to Kuwait in 1990, and then uh, 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 the war uh, of Kuwait in 1991, and then uh, the vision of the uh, United States and UK to Iraq in 2003. So coming back to the uh, imagination actually to, to the, the future of this uh, uh, GCC uh, structure, and how this structure can play a role in the new uh, security system in the world. So it's very difficult for the moment to uh, build this kind of trust between the uh, governors uh, or uh, uh, 
uh, presidents uh, of the heads of the st uh, states. So what I would like to su suggest here, it's very important to start this kind of dialogue uh, from a level of uh, uh, researchers, maybe of experts from both parties, from GCC parties and Iran parties. And after that, maybe this, this uh, uh, solution can, can uh, be arrived to uh, 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 level more upper than that. And uh, uh, then uh, it's possible also this GCC could tra transfer to a forum and uh, another countries could also participate in this uh, uh, forum because the, the system or the security system in the GCC, it's very important, not also for the, the, the states uh, uh, on, the, uh, on, the, uh, on the Gulf, but even for China, for Russia, for Japan, uh, uh, European Union, United States, uh, and even India. So even these countries could be part of this uh, forum and uh, 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 participate in this, in this forum. Uh, I will finish here. Uh, by uh, mentioning actually an idea uh, why Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates are not ready now to, to start this kind of, uh, uh, of dialogue with Iran. Well, uh, I visited Saudi Arabia two months ago actually and uh, to, to, to complete uh, a research paper on uh, the brand image of Saudi Arabia under King Salman and I met some expert there, an academic. And uh, the idea I had actually that Saudi, Saudi official don't believe and don't trust Irani part because in Iran they have many levels. They have the political level, they have also the uh, uh, religious level and they have the, uh, uh, another structure levels like, uh, like as uh, consultative, etc., etc. So if the politician will start this kind of uh, dialogue with Iran, uh, and then they, if they arrive to uh, uh, deals with them, to adopt this deal, Iranian part, uh, the, the Iran, the Iranian have to, uh, 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 I mean, uh, adopt this deal from other parties, from religious and from uh, uh, consultative. So it's very complicated for Saudi Arabia to understand that. This is one. Second. They, there's no guarantee for that. Uh, Gulf states, I believe that the Gulf, Gulf states don't trust now uh, United States because uh, after the signing of the deal with Iran, I mean, uh, Iran uh, signed the, the deal of uh, nuclear uh, in the summer uh, of 2015, uh, so something actually uh, lost in the uh, st uh, st trust with the United States. So I believe that, uh, you, uh, we need to another part to be as guarant. And I would just suggest here that Turkey c uh, could uh, play this role because Turkey had a very good relations with GCC, especially with, with Qatar and with Saudi Arabia. And even it has very good relation also with Iran. And I believe that Turkey could be not mediator, but uh, uh, guarant to any deal uh, could be signed with, uh, uh, between GCC and uh, Iran. Maybe I'll stop here. Thank you.